I'm glad you're here for another video. So today's case is going to be this 8 GB Lexar drive. Uh, the case is very interesting because uh, um, this is a will dispute. So uh, the family found this USB drive and they think there's a will on here. Um, but the drive is not working. So it's a very simple job, simple controller. So we're just going to pull the chip off from this drive and put it through VNR and see if you can recover it. Maybe we'll use um, flash extract. We'll see. Let's get to it first and see how we can recover data from this failed USB drive. Hey, what's going on? Uh, got another case of flash. And I got two more coming after this video. Uh, but this one's going to be quite simple. It's just an 8 gigabyte uh, Lexar product of China, of course. Um, so here's the drive here's the drive so simple configuration <clears throat> controller and one TSOP chip so the controller is a uh, very simple to work with um, it's an SM 3253L uh, very easy to work with so uh, it's gonna be a simple job so let's get it going I've already tested the drive, it shows up as um, just, um, it just says uh, the controller serial number, but that's about it. I did some other testing on it, and unfortunately this one won't be recoverable uh, by just plugging it into USB. We're going to have to pull the chip, and we're going to use either VNR or uh, flash extractor, I'm not sure yet. Whatever works, that's what we're gonna use. Let me just adjust the camera here a little bit. Okay. So the first thing is the usual. Just getting some low melt paste. And uh, applying it um, to the legs here on uh, on both sides of the chip. Which two I'm gonna use today? Maybe the exacto knife. Yeah, why not? So I'm sure you've seen my other videos. You wanna avoid uh, using too much heat on the chip, so. I'm gonna use Lomax. So, you know what? Maybe today I'll, I'll do something different. Maybe today I'm gonna use a uh, bottom heater. I don't know. Switch it up a little bit. Good enough. So let's uh, get the bottom heater out and try that. Okay, so we got a bottom heater here. Whoops. Uh, so we got a bottom heater. We're gonna put the drive in the bottom heater. Let me adjust this guy here. Put a bit of flux on here. Alrighty then. Here's the bottom heater. And the stupid thing isn't working. Yeah, there it is. You can see the uh, display here. So we're gonna set it to probably, uh, oh, I don't know, 170. I think it's a safe number. And uh, let's see if we can get this guy off here using the bottom heater. Get two, two pairs of tweezers.
I see some bubbling. Bubbly, bubbly. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting definitely getting uh so one side we got and uh, the other side and that's it. That's how simple that was with the bottom heater. And now we're gonna flip this thing off. Literally flip it off. <laughs> and uh, we gotta move this thing off here. Let this thing cool down. And here's a chip. Now it just needs a little bit of cleaning and that's pretty much it for soldering. Let's get some stuff. Okay, now we need a little bit of um, Good old trusty get some of these. Get our soldering situation happening here. And uh, let's clean up these legs. Using uh, 460 degrees here. I don't want to damage these tips. These tips are really expensive. So at the beginning, I was using a very high temperature on these, and then someone told me that you should drop the temperature if you want these tips to last longer. So since I've dropped the temperature, I've been getting a lot of use out of these. And besides, why introduce so much heat to the chip on top of that, right? Okay, now just the other side. Okay, that should be good. Now we we'll just clean it up with some alcohol. There's a lot of flux here, so let's get this flux out of here. Okay, let's inspect this chip now under the microscope. So I definitely want to get all that flux out from the crevices there. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's my OCD kicking in here. Thing is looking good. So a few legs needs um, straightening out. So let's get this guy turned over. So let's see what we have out of alignment. So this one here. Okay, these, these tweezers are dirty as hell. Okay, let's keep looking here. 
So this guy here needs a bit of adjustment. And other than that, I think this is looking uh, pretty good. Just a few more brushes with the uh, brush here, one side. And I see one of the legs is still bent. I know flash extractor is a bit finicky right there, reader. So we don't want these legs to be out of alignment, so I just straighten them up a little bit here. Okay, I think that is starting to look pretty good. So that is it. That's the chip removed. Only 8 gigs, so it's only one chip. There it is here. Chip here, see if the camera catches focus on this. A eh, probably won't. Let me get my arms in the way. Is it? No, I won't. Well, then, screw that. Okay. Here's the chip. Nicely done. Let's go over to VNR. Let's put this in the reader and go over to VNR and get this done. Okay, so it wasn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. There was a bit of an issue um, with VNR, so I had to go into Flash Extractor, play around there a little bit, and then come back to VNR uh, once I had the structure. So, so anyway, let's go see how this was done. So the first thing is we have to check the configurations. The chip was detected. Configuration was okay. Uh, played around the voltages a little bit. Then I looked at the, um, the dump, and it looked good. Sorry, not, not the dump, but the chip itself. There was some errors there. You can see those white dots. Uh, around there, it uh, it's not, doesn't look too bad. It's there's some chips that just looks horrible. Anyway, see, I'm dumping the binary of the chip, and I'm just looking for some data. So the dump looks good. Uh, calculate the page size, and then the next step to do here is to build a structure of the um, of the flash. So there's gonna be uh, data areas and the error correction section. So I'm just looking for it here just to figure out the size and here's the size so now we, I'm just gonna copy and paste everything down uh, the last thing to do here is to set up the uh, system area and this system area also has error correction so we gotta add that in as well uh, so when that's done uh, we're gonna find error correction uh, we know the size now so we can uh, try some we can see here uh, there was a bit of a problem there at the end so we just have to correct it a little bit and when that was corrected, you can see it's green, so as it looks really good. Now, I was thinking this drive might have a XOR, uh, but I didn't. Uh, you'll see me in a minute trying to figure out the XOR on this uh, flash drive, but there was no XOR. Uh, no XOR in here, so I'm just using my method of um, using markers table to find uh, XOR. So yeah, I'm just trying uh, different ones. But, like I said, no no XORs on this, on this uh, flash drive. Um, I'm almost done here. Now I'm doing error correction. We have to correct errors. This went really quickly. Usually this is slow. This takes days sometimes. This was so fast. There's no data. There's nothing to correct. Uh, now it's just marker stable, uh, setting everything up. And uh, somewhere around here, I had a problem. So I switched over to um, uh, Flash Extractor. I wanted to see uh, if I can get a better structure. So uh, there's a lot of help on the F uh, FE forums. If you, if you need help, if you do have Flash Extractor, if you do buy it, uh, you have, there's a lot of people there who have maybe similar case to yours. You can go there and then you can uh, ask for help. Sergey can also help you if you're paying uh, the support uh, for um, for Flash Extractor. But now I'm back in VNR again. Uh, I was trying something else again. There's a lot of stuff that actually happened after I stopped recording. Because um, at the end of this case, you're going to see that I actually finished the case in uh, Flash Extractor. Uh, but I still wasn't happy with the results. so. Ended up going back into um, 
uh, VNR and finishing the case in VNR, but I didn't record it. So we'll keep going here. And uh, here we are back in FE. And there is the data right there. I had to blur the file names, but that's the job finish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, another Flash uh, video coming up next week, and then probably one after that. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like it, share, subscribe, all that stuff. You know, it helps me a lot if you do like this video because it ranks me higher in Google. So um, I'll see you in the next video.